Hello. Um, this example of, of uh, meshing and simulating uh, SCL file needs recent versions of Annex because uh, this option is heavily uh, in in progress, and now it's in this version, probably 1899 or later. I use 1919. Uh, it works uh, almost as expected. So uh, now we're going to try to uh, mesh a STL file. I open the new file. I call it STLFAM, and now we're going to import the STL file. You can here select the folder, but I already had defaulted it. And I put on the the, um, the checks and so on. Um, but it's always it's, uh, good to uh, verify it. We create a convergent body, or that it uh, an X. Uh, so we gonna go to polygon, polygon modeling. If you cannot find it, you have to select it here. Polygon modeling here. And the first thing is to clean up all to no so all to uh, analyze. Okay, uh, all to repair. This is a SEL file created of, of a topology optimization I did. Not all the facts have been fixed. Um, then we are not to do it again. And now let's see how the error messages is all to analyze. No fault found. That's okay. Um, let me see. The the only trick that there is because you can do the things with this, but this has only one face. And if you want to put constraints on it, you have to um, select uh, uh, create uh, faces. And that's done with this option: divide face it face and this primitive face it's probably it's, it's standard there but you should select primitive faces and what it does is if you select a face you think ah it's a round cylindrical apply and that we do and we do this inside if we use it i use that for fixing the holes or fixing the simulation uh, apply and then oh, we don't need that but i uh, do that that's the flat if you want to do another constraints Okay, and uh, now you can see that you have some more options to to select. Um, we try it. Do a first. Do we do a save? And then we go traditional to applications pre-post new fam and simulation. I did not deselect this because I don't want to need that. Okay. That took a long time. Okay, we do the structural design. We there. And now you can do this. In previous versions you had to do uh, tricks and, and so on. And that's done. Then, oh no, I forgot one thing. That's no, 
but in, I didn't forgot it because I remembered. We have to edit this to assign it material. Um, yes, aluminum. Okay, okay. Then we go to the sim level to apply constraints. We do first fixed. If I did it nice, I would have done symmetrical, calculate one fourth of this, but that would have made the demo a lot longer. And then we do a load type, pressure, pressure, yes, one, one megapascal is good enough. Okay, um, let me save. Um, then we have the geometry, the meshing, the material, and the constraints. Then we can solve. It's writing. And it's running. I pause now. Okay, after a while, a minute or so, I got results. And then we go to cancel. We double click here. Oh. Double click there. And we have a plus and we level. Look at the displacement. And that's probably what we expected because the material is on the outside, so the displacement is okay. And you can uh, do everything as in a normal simulation. Thank you for your attention.